so we finally got some Fable news um, this week, which is exciting. It's not much, but I, I definitely think it's worth talking about um, and having just a bit of a discussion over. Um, and we got the news that we know that Fable is actually going to be running in the engine that Forza Horizon is created in. And of course, for those who don't know, Playground Games, the UK studio, is developing the new Fable game, the reboot, the, the next chapter. We're not really sure what it's going to be. We don't know enough about it. But um, for, of course, Windows 10 and the Xbox Series S and X, which is so exciting. Fable's one of my all-time favorite franchises. I've been following this development of this Fable game for years now, and uh, um, any bit of news I'm going to want to talk about. So Fable is going to be in the Forza Horizon engine. Makes 100% sense. Um, uh, it's been reported by IGN. David, could you just read um, the top of that article, the first couple of little paragraphs there for me? Here we go. So Microsoft's new Fable game is being developed using the Forza engine, according to a job listing on Microsoft's website. The listing, the listing for a software engineer states that the team at Turn 10, developers of the Forza series, will be working with the Forza Tech engine and will be enriching the tool set to support an open world action RPG fable. Okay, so... Cool. And apparently as well, it mentioned things like that that job will, you know, cross over two different, three game, three AAA games, two different series. So whether that's two Fable games and a Forza Horizon or two Forzas and a Fable, we don't know. But we know Fable's involved in that. I mean, it's it's not a shock. It's exciting. Because if you go to the tab next to it, David, I've got the Forza Horizon just so you can sort of see what it, mm. what it, the engine looks like. But it's a fucking, just mute that for me before you play it, though. We don't want the sound from that coming in. But you can sort of see where the visuals are like um, in the Forza games. And I think, I mean... You've got a team that knows this engine in and out. So for them to work with that engine makes complete sense. I don't think it's necessarily a surprise to anyone, but it's just nice to sort of see that they're working closely with what they know and what they know how to make. And it's an engine that visually looks stunning. It's a, you know, into just graphically, what we know they can do with it is really exciting. So if, to see them build an open world fable game with that is amazing. Because these Forza games are open world, the, you know, and, and it's a different beast. And I always say when people are like, yeah, but how's a fucking company that makes a racing game, a car game, going to develop a fantasy RPG? Well, look at Guerrilla, the company that developed Killzone for many years, a first person shooter, and then went on to create Horizon Zero Dawn, an open world RPG. You know, Fable's going to be a similar style to that, a similar style to The Witcher. And to see and know that it's going to be developed with an engine they know how to work with so well, it's just, it just, you know, I think, I think the main thing I get out of that is just a bit of comfort in, in knowing that we're not going to get some studio that's probably going to come out with this fucking shit show, um, glitchy mess. Mm. Depends, depends how far they're going to push this engine though, to be fair. And developing it for, I mean, what Microsoft's really focusing on is making sure they're building these first-party games for not just these Xbox consoles, but also PC. So, it, it's exciting. And these Forza Rising games are very popular. You know, very very well-crafted. I'm not a r racing game person. Are you? Uh, do you play any of these games? No, I mean, the most I played was Burnout Revenge back in the day. That was a sick game. <laughs> that was actually sick. Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly... Wouldn't mind giving like a decent racing game a go. It looks pretty fucking cool. Yeah. But um, yeah. Yeah, they're really well designed. So, yeah, that's it's 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 just good to know. I'm just happy to know what sort of engine it's going to be in. Again, I, we know Fable's a long way off. They're still doing bloody job listings for this mate. Mm. They only got a they only got a a writer and a producer in the last six months. You know, in there. So there's a lot of time between now and when Fable comes out. At least I'd say two years. I mean, end of next year... Uh, yeah, so I'd say at least 18 months. End of next year would be the soonest. I'd be shocked if it was mentioned before then. I expect to probably see Fable again at E3 this year, or well, not at E3, but around that period of E3 would be, uh, marks up when marks up do some sort of you know show, show real event. Um, yeah, I expect to, same as last year, I expect to see Fable again in a bit more detail rather than a teaser, just a bit more of a... Um, Probably pre-rendered again. It probably won't be gameplay. But just to see a bit more of the world. 
a bit more of a story tease, perhaps, and what the sort of tone and vibe and era that it's going to be set in will be. And then probably 12 months after that, you know, mid-2022, then we're going to see some gameplay probably for the first time. And maybe release window, which will either be at the soonest end of 2022, but I'd expect it in 2023 is when I think Fable comes out, 2023. So. Solid. Yeah. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. You know, the uh, this company, when I say company, I don't mean Microsoft, but, well, Microsoft, but also... Um, you know, um, turn 10, but playground games, they know how to work with the engine and they're just, they're just sticking to what they know. Um, and then crafting a new experience, you know, in a, in a fantasy genre. And I'm sure there's, there's people, um, I mean, there's some great minds who have been through it on this show before. There's some great minds working on this game. So I'm really excited, um, to see where, where Fable is going to go as always. But yeah, Fable, it's coming just a fucking long way away keen man could be um could be the best thing that xbox do in a while man yeah well i mean halo's halo infinite's on the on sort of on the horizon at the end of the year and they're doing re- some really good stuff with this like halo infinite diary entries they're doing mm. um every month they, they're interviewing a different area of the development team talking to them and just giving these you know it's a blog update but we haven't seen the game by this point of like halo 5 and 4 we'd had like the multiplayer beta we'd actually been playing the game We've seen gameplay and trailers and story. We don't fucking know what's going on with Halo Infinite. We don't know what the fucking story is. We don't really know what's going on. We haven't seen shit. I don't know where the fuck Halo Infinite is. And it's supposed to come out this year. Mm. So I'm I'm very concerned about Infinite. Like, I'm, they've done a lot of good things after their disaster flop of a showing last year. Mm-hmm. They've made a lot of good changes, did a 12-month delay. But is that enough? I don't know. I'd love to see another 12-month delay, personally. I'd like to see the game end of next year and really... But I think if they haven't already pre-planned a two-year delay, then there's no point. You know what I mean? They needed to have like, okay, we've got two years, let's totally reshuffle this game, the story and everything and the structure. But in one year, like them just delaying it from this point on would be just them doing another, you know, big rejig, but not big enough, you know. They've planned their rejig for a 12-month window. Mm. Here we are. Let's see if they can nail it. Who knows? But we'll soon see. Hopefully Microsoft can get some wins. They've been doing some good things recently. Microsoft have been building some momentum. So I'm really hoping that um, seeing Halo Infinite soon in the next couple of months and then Fable will really spark some interest plus some new IPs that, you know, they've got some good things going on. So, you know, time will tell. But everything Fable so far is still looking good. Still happy with it, you know. So we'll soon see. We'll soon see. 